Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is number system part four. The question says you should find the missing figure. Okay, so if you see something like this, you should know find the missing figure. So what are they trying to do? It means that you know before you can find that missing figure, you need to add and you need to subtract. Of course, the addition of one three zero two one two three and the missing figure will give the answer. So it means for you to get the missing figure, you need to add one three zero two one two three and subtract it from one zero one two two in base what in base four. Okay, it's as simple as that. Few seconds analysis. Add one three zero two one two three and subtract it from what one zero one two two in base four to get your missing figure. It's as simple as that. So that is what am I trying to do here? So let me just quickly do the analysis of this. Let me add these two here. So you have your one, three. Okay, let me use another. Let me use another color here. You have one, three, zero, two. One, two, three. We're doing this addition in base four. Okay, so three plus two, five. Three plus two, five. Like I mentioned in what? In part 11, and I mentioned in part 10. Three plus two, five. We are doing this in base four. So five minus four, that will give us what? One. We are working with base four. Five, that is how many times can four go in five? It's one times. It will remain one. Okay, carry that one. To the next one there. One plus zero is what? One plus two. That is what? Three. Is three up to four? No. You write your answer. Three. As simple as that. Okay. Don't forget what I'm trying to do here. For this one, that's what? Three plus what? Two. Five. Okay. How many times four can go in five? One time it will remain one. Okay, it is that remaining and writing or remaining one. So that one time that four can go in five, one plus what? Zero. Okay, one plus what? Zero plus one. One plus zero, that will give us one. So one plus what? Two, that will give us three. Three is not up to four that we are working with. The next one is three plus one, that is what? Four. Okay. So 4, it is up to the base that we're working with. So it will now be what? 4 minus what? 4. The remainder will be what? 0 or 4 divided by 4. Okay? So when you take 4 from 4, at the end of the day, you will get what? There will be nothing that will be remaining. Okay? That is the meaning. So it means you will have your what? You will have your 0. Nothing is remaining. Okay? Nothing is remaining. 4 minus 4 is 8. Nothing is remaining. So it means four can go in four one time. So carry that one to the next one there. So one plus one. So this will now be what? Plus one. Plus one. It will now be what? Two. Two, zero, three, one. So it means that the addition of what? One, three, zero, two. One, two, three. Is what? Is two, zero, three, one. It is what? 2, 0, 3, 1 in base what? In base 4. It's as simple as that. It is 2, 0, 3, 1 in base 4. So what do we now do next? So what we need to do next is that we will now subtract 2, 0, 3, 1 in base 4 from this answer to now give us what we have here. It's just a simple arithmetic. Okay? But just that the condition you need to follow here you must work with what? Base 4. So I can now come here. I can come here and say, I can come here and say, therefore, therefore, the missing number that I'm looking for will now be the subtraction of, I'll subtract this one from this. So that is 1, 0, 1, 2, 2. Okay. Then you have 1, 3, 0, that's 1, 3, 0, 2. That I'm subtracting. That one is addition. So I'm doing this in base 4. 
don't forget you are working with this one don't forget the base you are working with now two minus one is one it's not four i'll write the answer out let me use another color two minus one is what one I'll write the answer out because it's not up to what is four. Okay. Now look at this very well. So this is in big four. Look at the next column. It is what you can't take three from two. You borrow one, like the way we did in part eleven. Subtraction of number system. If you've not gone through it, please go through it so that you can understand exactly what I'm doing. So Three can, I can't take three from two. I'll take one. So the one I'm taking is the base. Oh, the one I'm taking is the base. So the base here will now be four. Four plus two. Okay. So the one I'm taking to this place, so which will be normal one, which is a mathematics. But because I'm working with what subtraction in this four, so the one I'm taking is going to be what four. So this one will now be what plus four, which is the basis. I'm taking one. So the one I'm taking will now be two plus four. The one is going to be the base, which is four. Two plus four, that will give me what? Six. Okay? Six minus three. Okay? It will not be what? Two plus four, that will be what? Six. Six minus three. That will give me what? Three. Because three is not up to the base. Three is not up to the base. That is why we wrote three. Three. It's not up to the base. That is why I'm writing what? I'm writing 3. Hope you're following. Now, I've taken 1 from here. It will remain 0, of course. So 0 and 0. It will still give us what? 0. No cost for now. Okay? So now, look at the next one. I can't take 2 from 0. It's impossible. Okay? I don't have anything. I want me to give it to my... That's the meaning. So I can't take two from zero. I'll borrow one. So the one I'm borrowing again is what? It's going to be what? Four. So this one will now be what? Plus four. Four plus zero. Okay? Four plus zero will give me what? Four. Okay? Four plus zero will give me what? Four. Then four minus two will give me two. Okay? So that shows that the missing figure, you can now come here and conclude that the missing figure or you go to the option and pick your answer okay the missing figure is now this missing figure is this okay so which is what we have here so it means here if i put this 20314 20314 here i will get this answer that is the meaning so it's as simple as that okay just a simple arithmetic okay the question says find the missing figure you have this you have this you have the answer so it means you need to add this one and this one first in base four because they said find the missing figure in base what in base four so you need to add this one and this in base four after you now do that then you can now subtract the answer from this to get this missing number it's as simple as that in base form and that is exactly what we've done here so please continue to you know invite your friends you are at least you are getting one or two knowledge from what we're doing okay invite your friends let them come and enjoy the benefits please don't be self-centered okay okay share it share knowledge okay continue to follow us on tiktok Facebook, on Instagram, okay, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay, we want to reach a lot of young minds that are having challenges with mathematics, just for them to see that mathematics is not hard, it's not, it's, it's, it's simple and it's interesting, okay, it's just like changing and pure water, cheers.